Client workflows. How often did you forget you need to do something or, oh yeah, right, I have a proposal out there, I should follow up with them? Yeah, been there, done that. So today I wanna to talk about how I'm setting up my client workflow in ClickUp. Hey everybody, it's Yvonne with AskEV.com and if you are looking for business efficiency tips and tricks, how to change your mindset to really rock your business, or any tips, tricks, or tools that help you automate and streamline your business, you are in the right place because that's exactly what we're talking about. So if you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, consider doing so and hit that bell just to make sure you get notified when I'm uploading new videos. Let's dive right in. Client workflow, oh my God, we want them all and we want to get all of the clients, you want to take care of them and we're get, gonna get all the money. And how many of them did you forget in the past, especially when, when that spike hits off, suddenly you have double the amount of clients, like, oh my God, I forgot I had to do that. I'm gonna share my client workflow with you that I'm using in ClickUp to track clients and make sure everything gets done. So let's head on over there. Here we are, this is how my client workflow looks in ClickUp. As you can see, we have the column open, which are people that I have talked to that weren't ready yet, that I might come up in the future again. It's just a, hey, by the way, you've talked to them in the past. Maybe you wanna check in with them again. Then I have my potential client one, which as the name says, those are potential clients. They have reached out, we are in conversation. I then have a follow-up tab, just in case you need to check in with, hey, where are we? Do, do you want me to write a proposal? Do you still wanna work with me or do you need to go back into the open tab? That kind of thing. Then we do have the proposal stage, meaning proposal has been sent out, we are waiting for them to come and sign or the start date is still a month out or whatever it is. Once proposal signed, invoice paid and all of that, they are moving into working on. And that's where it starts to become interesting. I usually do not have much of information in here with the clients till they come into the working on. When they are in the working on, they do get some to-do lists, for example. They might get a little bit more information up here. They also potentially, no, they will probably get attachment and they will get link to their own Google Drive folder that we have. So we have one spot with all the information and everything that's happening. Also, if they're becoming their own project that will be linked in here, so rather than if it's just a couple small jobs that stay right in here, if it is a full website redesign, the link to the actual tab would go in here. Once we are done, or even in between jobs, it potentially could move into the waiting on client if you are waiting to hear back from them, if you need to follow up, if they still have to submit things and that kind of thing. Once things is done, they will move into the finalized tab. With our web design stuff, there is a lot of maintenance going on. They do have maintenance contracts and that kind of thing, which is why we have a maintain column to make sure all of our maintenance clients are on track and we don't forget about anything. So yeah, that is how my client workflow in ClickUp looks. So what do you think? You think that's gonna work for you? Comment below, are you handling your client workflow like that? Does it make sense to you? What are you struggling with when it comes to really tracking client and where in your business they are right now and how much attention they need and what you need to pay attention to with them? Comment below and I'll see you soon.